Hello and welcome to this month's Heatline video vlog. Today we're on site at a future edge cutter installation, a roof de-icing application where we have the requirement for snow melting and ice melting along the leading edge of this home. And what we're really just going to focus on here today is specifically getting your measurements to order the material you need. So we're just going to go over it slowly, step by step. So looking at this application here, it's a simple application. We have one straight leading edge along the front of the house. Looking towards it, we have the downspout coming down the left hand side. Then we have an underground shallow buried trench leading out to a drain. So number one, what we want to decide is where are we going to have the power connection. In this installation, and in most installations, the simplest point of the power connection is to start where you're actually going to finish. And what I mean by that is the power connection would start on the end of the downspout because that's where we're going to finish. So just to give you an example, the edge cutter will go under the leading edge, the heating cable will start on the left hand side, it will run under the edge cutter along the entire leading edge, drop down into the gutter, run back through the gutter and then down the downspout and out into the drain. So we want to make sure we know where our power connection is going to go. We've got an idea on that. Next step is we want to get the measuring tape out and we want to actually measure the length we have here. And we've already went ahead and done that in advance and we have a little over 40 feet. We actually have about 40 feet, four inches, which is almost perfectly the exact length we need because we need four foot edge cutters, 10 of them, and then we're gonna do a quarter inch gap approximately between each one. So we're gonna use 10 edge cutters, cover our 40 foot length. So we know 10 edge cutters. What we then wanna do is measure the downspout, which we've already went ahead and done, and we've measured that drop at 12 feet. And then we've also measured 25 feet out with the underground drain that is shallow buried. Why those measurements are important because the heating cable will start from the power connection it will run 40 feet approximately along the edge cutter, drop, run 40 feet back through the gutter, then go down 12 feet down the downspout, and then go 25 feet out through the shallow dra buried drain. And that right there with those numbers added together is gonna give us our approximate length. So we've got 40, another 40 gives us 80, 12 feet down gives us 92, 25 feet out gives us 117. So now that we know the number of edge cutter we need, we have an approximate length of a cable. In this case, since we measured 117, we're probably just gonna round up to 120 because that gives us an extra three feet. And you do wanna have a little bit extra on the cable because no measurement is perfect. And because we're going through a drain, we have the ability to loop some heating cable back if needed. The other thing that's important is we want to identify that we have one downspout which means that we will need one downspout hanger and the job of the downspout hanger is to support the heating cable where it hangs down the downspout and then the fourth thing is we want to identify what type of power connection we need are you going to be plugging this directly into an outlet or are you going to be hardwiring it and as well how long do you need that power lead to be in this situation, this customer is actually going to be hardwiring it directly to a junction box just underneath the elevated porch. So they're going to go with a cord set version and we've went ahead and measured it and it's going to be about 10 feet down to that location. So they're going to need 120 feet of Paladin for roof heating cable. They're going to need a 10 foot cord set cold lead to the power, 10 pieces of edge cutter with caps and a downspout hanger. I hope you found this video vlog helpful. We'll continue to release a new video vlog monthly, so make sure to stay up to date by visiting our website or signing up to our social media links. Thank you for watching.